there, I'm going to video document my conversion of this uh, Bulgarian single stack SSR-85 uh, into a double stack uh, rifle. Uh, I've already removed the muzzle nut, uh, that's pretty easy to do with just a Dremel, but now I'm going to be working on the magazine well. Um, as you can see it's a lot narrower than a double stack magazine well. It's also got these interesting little lips that were actually bent out of the receiver flap uh, in order to support the single stack magazine. What I'm going to do is open it up. Um, I have here a template that's based off the, I believe, Ace Arms receiver template. Um, it's printed on a piece of mailing label, cut out from this sheet here. Um, it's got six different holes of quarter inch diameter that I'm going to center punch with the center punch, obviously, um, and then drill those out to help as a guideline for the, uh, the cuts later on that I make with the rotary tool. Okay, uh, well, I ran into my first problem here. Uh, the drilling holes, the centers of which, I should say, are too close to the old magazine well. Uh, when I went to punch it, the punch slid and punched a hole in the paper and not the sheet or not the finish of the metal itself. I do have a solution for that, though. I'm just going to use a box cutter, cut along the outside lines of the template. Um, that should leave a nice scribed line in the finish of the receiver. Okay, let's see how we did. All right, as you can see, there is a scribed line around the magazine well. I'll be able to cut to that with the uh, the rotary tool cutoff disc, um, and then just fill in the rounded edges where the drill holes were supposed to be. Uh, I didn't feel comfortable, obviously, cutting around a curve with something as imprecise as a box cutter. Um, but yeah, we'll do that next, and we'll do it outside, so there may be a bit of wind noise, as it's quite breezy today. Okay, before I begin cutting, I do want to talk briefly about safety equipment. Um, I think it's important, especially when using just about any power tool, that you're wearing some sort of eye protection, um, goggles or safety glasses. If I were using an angle grinder, it would probably be a full face mask because of the weight of the disc. Um, doing any sort of grinding, I always recommend a respirator as well. Um, even a paper dust mask is going to offer some protection, um, or a cartridge unit like the one I have. Also, for a power tool like this one, I'm also going to recommend hearing protection, um, simply because uh, the noise that the motor makes as well as the grinding noise on the metal. And I'm going to be using a uh, stone mount to uh, grind away at some of the excess around here, especially in the corners and around those areas that are supposed to be rounded.
Okay, so it turns out there are mag supports in here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see them. Just these little strips of metal that are attached to the receiver rails. Uh, they will need to be ground down. Uh, so far, that's the only thing that's preventing the mags from being inserted at this point. So I'm going to get back in my protective gear and uh, get back on the rotary tool. All right, well, so far, so good. Um, I was able to get both the uh, Tapco, which is a notoriously hefty magazine, to fit in there quite nicely, it locks in. Also a uh, Bulgarian uh, commercial, not a surplus, magazine that also locks in. Nice and tight, no wobble on either one. The only problem I'm having are with the uh, Kvar or Arsenal magazines, which seems odd since it is a Bulgarian gun, and these are from a Bulgarian arsenal. The magazine itself seems to be getting caught on the cross member of the receiver. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's the major problem. I'm, I'm not quite sure what is going on with it. Um, I'm going to work on fixing that. But the fact that two out of three mags that I have a lot of are uh, working is pretty good. Um, as you can see, I ding the receiver up uh, a lot of places. Um, if I had been smart, I would have taped that up with masking tape. But I wasn't, and I didn't, and it is what it is. So next is reassembly and uh, test feeding. Okay, last bit for this video is going to be the uh, testing the feed mechanism of a couple different magazines. For the task, I've got some dummy rounds from Brownells. I've got two loaded in each of the magazines that I know will fit. Um, still got to work on the Arsenal brand one. So anything else, load it. Let it slam forward. And whoops, well it didn't eject, but it did feed. And it fed the second one as well. So. I'm pretty confident that will work from both sides, both the left and right side of the magazine, I mean. And there we go, both from that one as well. Um, looks pretty good so far, like it's going to be able to work. I'm still impressed with how little wobble and uh, rock back and forth there is with them. It's still a little tight on the steel magazine, but uh, other than that, it looks like it's going to be very good. Uh, I'm going to do the full reassembly with the 922R conversion parts. I'll list them as I go along with that um, and get it back together.